Hello everybody, look what I just got. Bamboo Lab P1S Combo. I loved my A1 Mini and I wanted something a little bigger, so I went ahead and ordered this with the most recent bamboo sale. Let's get this thing open. It's really well packaged. Uh, no worries about this thing getting damaged in shipping. Okay, get it out of the package here. Just lift up right by the plastic and I'll put this on my desk. Lots of packaging. Bubble wrap, foam, you name it, it's in here. It also came with the cl clock kit. And it also came with two rolls of partial filament. So the green and the orange here. And it also came with a partial spool of the support filament from Bamboo. As you can see on the top here, the... Uh, instructions to get started. Um, throughout this unboxing, I will reference this because it was a big help. Again, this thing was packaged really well. Um, no complaints on the amount of packaging. It's meant to be secure in shipping, and it arrived with no damage. So uh, I got to say they did a really good job there. And right now I'm just removing all this foam and other stuff in here. Because with the... AMS combo. The AMS ships actually inside the printer, which is sort of cool. It saves on shipping with extra boxes. Right here is the tools and extra fill, uh, not filament, but extra uh, tool head was in there with uh, also the packages. Right here I'm referencing the uh, quick start guide and I'm opening up the toolbox here, or not toolbox, but the accessory kit to see what's in here um, and to get the wrenches that were in here. This is where also where the display unit is saved. Okay. And the very bottom we have the wrenches. Also have some grease here and some other miscellaneous accessories for future maintenance. And there's two little screws right here that I needed to remove in order to get the AMS unit out. Um, throughout this process there is some screws that have to be removed and they're pretty easy to see. Uh, Bamboo put giant red arrows uh, of what screws need to be removed. It may, for anybody, you know, first time doing this, it makes it really easy. Thank you, Bamboo. And with those out, I can just pop the AMS unit right out. And I'm pointing to the screws that have to be removed right now in order to unlock the bed. Because the bed is secured with the screws. Well, this is the brace. That is my bed. There's other screws for the bed. But that was that's what the AMS sat on for it didn't damage the bed. A little bit of cardboard here around the tool head unit that has to get removed as well. And this is what is actually inside the AMS. Extra tubes were in there. Now, one thing I will admit that I 
didn't notice till after I put the first roll of film in and I didn't get this on film is I forgot to open up the bags of desic desiccant that came with it. They're open now, but didn't get on film. Right here, there's some cabling that has to be put in for the uh, AMS unit. That hooks up to the machine. It hooks up to... Um, I forgot what that white box is called. But it's where the film it, film it feeder. I know there's a, a specific name for it, but I can't recall right now. And these are the screws that are lock the bed in place so it doesn't move around when shipping. That way nothing gets damaged. Did a little editing here to remove the process of actually unscrewing everything because it took me like a lot longer than this and it's just empty time for the video. And now I'm going to install the screen, uh, display screen. Again, referencing the quick start guide, it was really helpful. If anybody does order this printer, definitely use the quick start guide. Once this is attached, uh, this goes in here, it slides right in, and it's installed. Pretty straightforward. Once I got installed, got to select language, and then I, you know, paired it with my phone. Uh, I didn't film all that. Um, I did. Pairing was a little bit of a pain, I will admit, but I think it took three or four times to finally get it paired up with uh, the Handy app, but I got it working. And here I am installing the filament into the AMS unit. A um, little bit different than I'm used to that with the AMS light from the A1 Mini, uh, but, you know, went right in. It is pretty cool when the AMS is working and just the rules automatically rolls like that. I find it really cool and sort of hypnotizing almost. And then I decided, you know, to put a Benchy. Now, I had this sped up like 20 times. The one thing I will say though, I was not prepared for how loud this test bench was. Um, the rest of the prints so far haven't been this loud, but this was really loud and I almost thought something was broken. It wasn't, but super loud. And this test print for this benchy, so much better than my previous test prints with the A1 Mini. Like, the overhangs are amazing, the detail is amazing, like, I don't know if I could find anything wrong with this Benchy. Um, I was really impressed for the speed that this printed at and the quality of this Benchy. Now, this was a pre-sliced Benchy, so it's opti optimized for the printer, but it came out amazing. Hey, if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It'd be a big help. And comment down below what you want me to print on this next.